the SGX Nifty indicating a startup of 18,000. This is a market which has been a delight for positional longs. Uh, I just uh, stay in and the market does the rest for you with a gap uh, uh, almost every alternate day, even if it doesn't do much after that. Uh, we have uh, Sudarshan Sukhani and Mitesh Thakkar now joining us. Uh, uh, <coughs> gentlemen, good morning. Sudarshan, it's been such a roaring bull market, right? Uh, but what next? Uh, and for those who want to participate now, uh, what's the entry point? Uh, good morning, Anuj. Well, uh, it's been a roaring bull market, and uh, the, what next? The answer would be that the bull market continues. It will continue till it gives a message that it's not going to continue. That message hasn't come, so we stay long. We look for buying opportunities. Today, of course, the point, uh, there's a difference between the bank nifty and the nifty today. It does appear that the nifty may now outperform. The banks are likely to enter a consolidation. So the focus for me today is primarily on the nifty. Now, for people who want to enter, add or re-enter or just enter now, you wait patiently for small consolidation, intraday dips. That's the only thing you can do. Keep a 100-point stop loss. There are no levels because the market is now making going into uncharted territory. So just keep a risk management stop. If it's 100 points lower than your entry price, then you might want to consider your position. Otherwise, go long on any minor dip. Mm, go along with any minor dip. Uh, Mitesh, good morning. Uh, what's your approach on Nifty and Bank Nifty? Uh, good morning, Anuj. Uh, see, one, we have maintained long positions and long biases, and uh, I think we will continue with that. 18,165 is the uh, first target area in the short term, uh, if you look at the intraday pivots historically. And then 18,350 was the highest closing we got before we, uh, highest weekly closing we got before, you know, we, we saw the market speak around 18,600. So, I think these are the level to watch. Uh, uh, you know, we were advocated shifting to nifty uh, IT stocks. I think that's where the breakout is happening. So trading is slightly more stock specific biases, but the bank nifty, uh, despite the fact that it might take a slight breather or pullback, I would continue to maintain a positive bias simply because of the fact that it's trading at, uh, you know, uh, uh, highest levels or it's, it's got the highest weekly closing on Friday. And therefore, unless until we see a dip below 40,300, I think we'll maintain a positive bias and trail the stop loss just to about 40,270 or thereabouts. So I think maintain positive bias look for targets of around 41,000 to begin with and maybe even 41,800. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. In terms of stocks then, Mitesh, what are you buying and selling? On a job, buy calls today, no sell calls. Uh, it's, it's a market clearly which is positively biased. We'll open with the gap up. So a buy on Bidla soft with a stop at 330 for targets of 355. Uh, Atul Limited is a buy with a stop at 9400 for targets of 10200. Amaraja Batteries is a buy with a stop at 535 for targets of 572. And Divi's Lab is a buy with a stop at 3645 for targets of 3750. Okay. And uh, well, uh, Sudarshan, your stock calls? Well, primarily on the long side, I am trying to search for stocks that have not that are just beginning to participate because all the stocks don't go together with the nifty let's see if that's successful oro pharma is a buying opportunity after that sharp dip it's now probably ready for a breakout buy with a stop under 535 igl has been in a strong rally then it has gone into a huddle for almost a month after that trading range it's likely to break on the upside buy with a stop under 419 indigo is an intraday short indigo has a, a very weak ch uh, chart I think there, are, there is no possibility of a big gain. So look for an intraday short with a stop above 19.50. And finally, uh, Mitesh was talking about IT and he entered the uh, zone much earlier, the sector yesterday, day, earlier also. Now I'm looking at IT. Wipro is a buying opportunity. It's again turning around from a small downtrend with a stop at 4.15.